Legislators and students at UWGB speaking their minds today after an announcement that a $650 million surplus and tuition rates in the UW system could grow even more. Now the governor is looking to freeze tuition, but state representatives are taking the opinions of students and teachers into consideration first. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 6 with that story. Stacy, state representatives found today's meeting to be much different. Students at previous meetings have shown support for a tuition freeze. However, at today's session, they were against it. It's a question for all students in the UW system, and Clint Berge wants an answer. What are they doing with it, and why do our rates continue to go up? But today's listening session at UWGB was a little different. School's pretty affordable to begin with. Heba Mohammed wants that surplus to be used to improve the school's resources. We need money, and if we can't rely on the legislature to give us that money, I think it's a little ridiculous and sort of irresponsible to, to say that we're just going to stop with the tuition. Teachers got into the discussion, proposing the university system take a look at a pay plan for them as well. We have not received a cost of living increase or much of a raise in a very, very long time. State representatives, while somewhat puzzled by some responses, were open to all suggestions. It's not about that they have one, it's about what's the appropriate level, and that's what the discussion has to be around. Mohammed says she is worried a freeze may impact the school after 2015. We expect them to be responsible with the money that we give them, um, no matter how much that is. But state representatives say it's time to solve the issue now. Now, state representatives expect to, to receive a recommendation from Governor Walker on the state budget at some point early next week. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.